Hey, what's up everybody? This is Kyle with Paul C. Buff, and today we're gonna to be talking about which light is right for you. But before we do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content. So to kick things off, we have six varieties of lights. We have our white lightnings, our alien bees, our Einsteins, our digi bees, our lynx, and our celestials. The white lightnings and the alien bees come in a few different flavors with different power levels. Now, what makes the white lightnings and the alien bees special is they're still analog lights, meaning there aren't digital components inside, so they tend to be a little bit more durable. There are fewer things that can break. And being analog lights, it affords us the ability to get some reasonably high power levels for lower costs. The main difference between the white lightnings and the alien bees are the white lightnings have a sturdier aluminum casing and the highest power white lightning is a very high powered unit that is not matched by our highest power alien bees. Now we're gonna skip over the Einstein for a second and we're gonna talk about the digi bee for a moment. The digi bee is very similar to the alien bees, but it is a digital unit and it features a reasonably high powered LED modeling lamp, meaning you can use the unit for video as well, albeit with some extra fan noise. Now, the nice thing about an LED modeling lamp, it does not run as hot as traditional modeling lamps. So when you use this with a product like the Eclipse Optical Snoot, you don't actually have to worry about scalding your hand anytime you touch it. So for most of this video, we're going to focus on these three lights. They're what we get the most questions about in terms of how they relate to each other. The Einstein released about a decade ago. It is a 640 watt second flash unit. It uses a traditional modeling lamp. The Einstein is a 100% AC powered unit, but you can make this unit portable with our Vagabond Mini system. The Celestial is our newest unit. It uses a 160 watt equivalent LED modeling lamp. It features TTL and high speed sync and is fully battery powered. The Link is an 800 watt second flash unit with an 800 watt equivalent modeling lamp. So that modeling lamp is incredibly powerful. And like the Celestial, it also features TTL and high speed sync and has optional battery power or AC power depending on what your needs are. TTL is essentially shooting your light in auto mode. So it has further communication with your camera, allowing your lights to compensate for the situation at hand. Now, high speed sync allows you to exceed your sync speed. Whether your camera's native sync speed is 200th of a second, 250th of a second, this will now allow you to go up to 1 8,000th of a second. Now, a lot of people confuse action mode and high speed sync. So what's the difference? So action mode is compressing the power of your flash. High speed sync is extending it. So basically, those short flash durations will give you more crisp motion stopping. Can you accomplish the same thing with faster shutter speeds and high speed sync? Yes and no. Those faster shutter speeds will allow you to stop more motion than you would in high speed sync on slower shutter speeds, but you're still gonna run more risk of motion blur at one eight thousandth of a second than you would using action mode on any of these three lights. Now, the Einstein with the traditional modeling lamp, these can get very hot. So if you want to use this with something like an optical snoot or get your hand a little bit close to the unit, you're gonna be running some heat risks. Now, the main thing that the Einstein is beloved for is its short flash durations. This is accomplished through action mode. And so what this does is it compresses the power of your flash into a shorter duration, allowing you to stop really crisp motion. So if you've ever seen those pictures with, you know, water drops, a dress flip, those short flash durations is actually what's accomplishing this. Out of these three units, the Einstein does have the best action stopping. Moving over to the Link, the Link has really good action mode that can come close to rivaling the Einstein's but it also features TTL and high-speed sync like the Celestial, which the Einstein does not. Now, these units feature our magnetic faceplate, and this allows you to attach our magnetic silicone color gel domes directly over your flash tube, meaning that you can use this with any modifier with ease. Octabox, Softbox, Beauty Dish, 
no problem. The Link was designed for overall versatility when it comes to its power usage. So 800 watt seconds, there's a lot you can do. When you consider something like the inverse square law in terms of how light diminishes over distance from your subject, you can put this light further away than you could the celestial from your subject outdoors without the sun interfering. The modeling lamp is another big feature of this. At an 800 watt equivalent LED, this light can actually serve a dual purpose as a video light. And to top that off, if you have your modeling lamp turned all the way up in a dark studio, it's really great for capturing behind the scenes as well because you're seeing exactly where the light is falling before you take the picture. The Celestial was designed for versatility in the sense of how portable it is. Now at 500 watt seconds and only 4.6 pounds, the only light that is actually in its class that is lighter and more compact is gonna be the Profoto B10X Plus. But at a retail of nearly $2,400 and this guy at roughly $650, you could almost buy four Celestials for the same price and get faster recycle times and a higher power variability, meaning the increments in which you can change and adjust your power are greater. If you were to take this all the way down to its lowest power, the light output would be incredibly soft. And for photographers like newborn photographers, this would allow you to have a very silently flashing light very close to your subject without risk of overexposure or noise from the flash itself. Now, out of these three units, the Celestial has the dimmest modeling lamp, but as it is still LED, you can use it safely with the optical snoot, which you cannot with the Einstein. The main thing that you're paying for in terms of price, Celestial versus Einstein, the Celestial, while 500 watt seconds, and the Einstein at 640 watts, the Celestial uses its power a little bit more efficiently. So you're getting a very similar light output, but you're not gonna get those super short durations and your modeling lamp's not gonna be that bright. But what you're losing in brightness, you're gaining in heat control. Now, all three of these lights come at different price points and somewhat different features. At the end of the day, light is light. For a simple portrait, you can create the lighting you need with most lights on the market. So what you're paying for at each price point are just the features to take that base level light to the next level. Whether you're trying to stop action, whether you're trying to go outdoors with high speed sync, or you need the best all arounder you can get, what features do you need to take the shots you're trying to shoot? So why buff over another brand? We're very customer service oriented and that goes directly into the design of each of our lights. We are looking constantly for the highest level of functionality at the lowest possible cost to pass those savings back onto you. The core belief of our company system revolves around your lights not being considered disposable equipment. As you grow and you build your career, we want to make sure that our lights are there to help you, and if something goes wrong, we're just a phone call away. And we're a small company of fewer than 30 employees, and one of the nice things about this is no voice is too small. You reach out with a concern, a complaint, that feedback goes directly into how we design our products and how we cater to our repair services. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments below. You can give us an email at info at policybuff.com or you can give us a call between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Monday through Friday to talk to one of those spectacular customer service reps we were talking about a minute ago. We'll catch you guys next time.